okay so here is my epen website i have just uh, created uh, it is with default design right now and i have also opened it in editing mode as you can see it here it's in editing mode and also i have a uh, login from the admin side so that i can so that i can edit the code uh, also here as you can see there are two folders uh, here assets and www your website content is placed in www folder and whenever you change your template or theme uh, this folder is completely replaced and uh, uh, with uh, new content and anything you want to save or persist or not to get removed uh, you are guided to put that uh, things in assets folder so right now i'm removing everything uh, from this uh, website uh, this just for saved purpose so right now i'm removing everything from this website and obviously it will produce an error here but it's okay for right now and i'm just uploading my theme that we have downloaded okay let's see there so this is my template i downloaded it's a simple uh, it's, it's a very simple html file as you can see it here this is simple html file and the structure is like very known to you this thing so i'm just uploading this file on my server now upload file and i extract it so this is my content over here right now first thing we do here is to create page template for this uh, event template a uh, page template is html portion of common things on your website like header menu or footer that is common for every page uh, now now create a folder in the root to ww folder named layout and uh, copy the index.html file into this folder and rename it for default so uh, default is like your uh, basic uh, default template for any web pages what uh, you will be creating next and uh, yes you can define various templates for various pages for but for now, right now just keep it default uh, for simplicity this file contains everything for home uh, page uh, so we are about to remove page specific codes and we'll just keep only common portion of page template and also we'll add a couple of epn specific text in this file uh, you can get all the details uh, on the documentation it is very well written documentation here so let's edit this file Here remove everything between header and footer as uh, this will be our page area where the main page will reside so this is header and uh, it ends here so I'm removing everything between header and footer it depends from template to template uh, and we'll paste and we'll paste this particular content this particular uh, thing defines that it's a a template content reason where your page will reside so I'm just pasting it the second thing is to just paste this content as it is before head ends closing tag of head and last thing we have to do is remove any jQuery instance included because epen itself includes uh, things in here So now this uh, particular template, uh, this particular page contains only uh, common portions of the pages and our main page will be index and as right now because we copied that file from index, it, the index file also contains everything like header and footer and everything. So in this file we will remove everything that we have included in common. Okay from here to here and the everything in the footer.
Now our, our, our file should uh, work very nicely. Okay, so the site is uh, perfectly loaded, uh, but it's almost static, uh, and we want these all contents to be editable and changeable. Uh, in Epen, to make contents editable and changeable, we just have to use some CSS classes and HTML attributes only. So let's let's make this about agency uh, section editable. Also, we will create a layout for this this complete uh, this block section. Uh, this block section so that uh, our template user can reuse this section anywhere uh, on another page or on another place so let's make this three text or this three text editable and this image editable this is our section actually there so to make any component uh, epen component we will just put a class x epen component i'm just making another section also x epen component x epen component so you can see how it works Uh, since I have added, uh, I have created these two things: XFN component, this complete section, and this complete section. So, uh, when we create anything XFN component, the uh, things they are completely selectable. So these are two HTML components. So we can we can like move this component. Like I have just did this thing. I have just moved these two components. I'm just moving this component. So this is now a complete component. But we'll make this uh, text also component and editable. So that was my title and component. And to make it an editable text, I just put a class X if an editable text. But I don't want a rich text box here. I just want it to be H2 class and just. Uh, I, do, I don't want my users to be able to do something very fancy so I'm saying it here xpen no rich text and here I just adding a class xpen component xpen edit table text and I want it to be a rich text box so I'll keep it that way And I, I don't want rich tech box here also. Let's refresh. So this text should be editable. It is and but it's not rich text box and this is like a complete rich text box here I can do pretty much anything so this is editable and okay and this is again this is also editable here so I have made these three text editable now let's make this image editable that's very simple I'll do just one thing here I'll just wrap this thing in a div and put some classes it's my XFN component and but this time I'll define which component it is this helps in uh, setting up the options Th these things are pretty much very simple and there are few things that you need to remember or uh, the proper documentation is available so let's let's see if the image gets editable okay so the content should be editable uh, the image is also editable you can you can select and replace this image from from any other image so 
now we want our users to reuse this particular component anywhere so what we'll do we will create a layout for uh, this this complete section here i just selected this section Se i just selected the section and uh, i say create layout let's give it a name like uh, simple text box and create layout well interesting part is now your user basically has this editable text here uh, but not only this thing uh, your users are able to reuse this particular content from layout for this website's layout so we have a simple text box here and within and I, I can just drop it here so your user can reuse the content and and, and it's it's pretty much fancy so let, let's make this uh, content again editable and we want this section to be droppable so that user can drop something new uh, into this uh, particular template and you will also understand about uh, uh, duplication of the things here so I am just adding the classes like we did in previous there so this is my section the things I wanted to get editable Okay, I want this title to be editable. X -E -Pen. Component X -E -Pen. So the content should be editable. Yes, it is. Okay, it is editable as well as uh, this content should be droppable. So let's let's drop an image here, maybe a SVG image. So this image uh, is uh, again as in facility of ePen, like user can edit the SVG image on the site instantly and can save, but right now I'll not go into this so okay I, I just want this not only sortable to be but also selectable That's the last one I also want this to be selectable component not only sortable so I refresh so now user should be able to select the complete column and like move it or even if they want they can create duplicate columns like this and they can increase and if if you want to create this a complete layout so that user can reuse this particular section we can simply do that thing should be easy okay so let's see if we got this layout in here so here's our layout it's created and we can reuse that layout so uh, that's it pretty much uh, you can create multiple pages and layouts you can create a number of pages and layout and you can manage everything in here so this is a simple video like how you can convert anything into editable templates and this is how much easy you can use existing HTML template and convert them to drag and drop and live editable things and uh, and saving is like uh, uh, well uh, anything you do and press ctrl s to save things and it's it's that much easy and so if you are in template designer you can use these techniques to create wonderful templates and, and 
put it live free or to be premium templates on event services or if you are creating your own uh, website uh, through event services you can understand how much easy it is to create pretty much anything because you have all the controls we are not like uh, this even is not like other drag and drop based system where you are very restricted with the templates and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for your time